Hey he fans and she ravers, it's time for the fourth retro style Masters of the Universe figure review on this channel and this one is for the evil leader of the Horde, Hordak. And he is currently available on Big Bad Toy Store along with all of the other Super 7 vintage style Masters of the Universe figures as well as the classic style and a bunch of other cool Masters of the Universe stuff on Big Bad Toy Store. Like He-Man, She-Ra, and Skeletor, he comes on a car that is identical to the original Masters of the Universe vintage figures. Same style of bubble on the front, and the same card art in behind, and same as seen on TV little burst on the front there. And I haven't taken too close a look at the backs of these cards, so I will for Hordak. On the back is also featured artwork for some of the other figures available. So we've got the upcoming hero and there's Eldor. So it'll be cool to finally have these guys in the vintage style because all we've ever seen is prototypes. And then we've got images for Skeletor, there's Hordak, and He-Man and She-Ra. And I really like that the artwork is the same as it was for the original cards. And although I don't have an original Hordak, and there was no commemorative Hordak to compare the card to, I do have one of the uh, commemorative card backs here to show you it's not exactly the same size, but it is the same style of artwork on the back there. And what's also cool is on the very top here, we get a little bit of uh, vintage-esque artwork of He-Man battling Hordak comic style and then also showing off some of his play features so you can twist his waist and he swings back with a punch and this is a really cool feature too slide the blaster cannon over his arm to destroy enemies so Hordak finally has his morphing ability that he had on the She-Ra cartoon so let's open this guy up and here's Hordak fresh out of the package and right off the bat, I want to answer a question that was given by Matt Ludy, friend of the channel. He wanted to know if it had that old vintage toy smell. A lot of us uh, vintage toy collectors who grew up in the 80s remember that fresh toy smell. So I'm going to give him a sniff right now. And uh, unfortunately, he does not, Matt. And anyone else who was curious, he does not have, at least this one doesn't, that vintage plastic fresh smell that the original figures had. He just, he's quite odorless actually. Um, and the, the plastic feels a little more rigid than the original figures did. So yeah, I, I guess it's just a different plastic being used. And uh, he doesn't have that smell, but I'm sure there's some sort of air freshener that you can spray him if, with if you want. Just like with your Moss Man, you can spray him with Pine Sol, or if you got a stink ore that doesn't smell anymore, you can just, uh, I don't know, burn him so that he stinks. But uh, yeah, he doesn't have that smell. But taking a look at the Super 7 Vintage Hordak figure, and I really like the blue on him. The original one uh, had gray arms and legs not tune accurate this one is a filmation version of Hordak and just like the other figures he's got the same joints these seem to move a little bit better a little stiff on the one side again so again I, I don't want to force this this leg is moving just fine this leg does not want to move and one of the fixes you can do for that is either soak it in hot water or run a blow dryer on it to loosen it up a bit and that might help it but uh, for just displaying on a shelf uh, I'm perfectly fine with just having him stand there and he is nice and sturdy you can give him quite a good uh, little shove and he won't fall you can secure him even more so that's another big positive about these vintage style figures. And like the other figures, he also comes with a little card of art. I really like this like matte finish on it. 
So there's Hordak taking a shot right at you with the Fright Zone in behind him. And on the back, like the others, we also have from Toy to Tune. So we see the original Hordak toy with the gray arms and legs. The original concept, I guess it was, for the cartoon, which also had gray arms and legs. Quite a different head. The head is much more accurate to the toy. And then they, uh, they tweaked him a bit and gave him blue parts here instead. Which I like. I like the blue because it reminds me more of Skeletor. So he's kind of got the skull head a little bit going on like Skeletor. And it's cooler that he's got, and it's a, bl a darker blue than Skeletor, but it's cool that he sort of looks like Skeletor. And he comes with a couple of accessories too. Comes with a crossbow, which seems to be the standard for a lot of Horde figures. And this one, because Hordak has an open hand, like many Masters of the Universe figures on his left hand, you can just clip this in so he can hold his crossbow. And this is actually kind of cool. There's a dent in here, a curve, which fits into his bicep. So makes it nice and sturdy. And then his big gimmick on the show was always being able to morph into different things or morph his body parts into different things. So this is very simple but they have included this cannon, which you can just fit. You can see it's molded to have his hand fit in there. And you just drop it over top. And uh, it can be a little tricky to get it to fit in there correctly. So some finagling is required here. And when you do get it on, it, it doesn't really feel like it's in all the way. His hand kind of, on mine at least, sticks out a bit. But there isn't really any other way to do it, so it'd be nice if his hand fit in all the way, but it, it just doesn't look like it's deep enough. So that's about, it's about as deep as it goes on mine. I guess you could Dremel that out a little bit more, but that's going to rub some collectors the wrong way to have to customize a brand new item that they just paid you know it's, it's not super expensive but it's not exactly super cheap either but their Hordak his has his arm cannon now which once you insert uh, four double D batteries you just push the button on his back and there you go cannon firing action and here's the comparison most people are going to want to see. It's the original one with the filmation version. And the skull and the crossbow parts really seem yellowed when you compare it to the bright white of the head of the new one. And that was, I believe, the original color. I don't think it's yellowed over time, so that's they just decided to go with a more bone color, appropriately, on the original one than on the uh, new one, which is supposed to be ca cartoon accurate. The feet are very similar. They're not actually the exact same uh, mold. There's actually extra detailing on the original feet. He's got these extra lines. And then the feet on the filmation version are more simplified. But they are very similar and they have the same little spike heel type of thing on the back and a nice extra detail the original had is the uh, horde symbols on his shins and the new one doesn't have that same standard masters of the universe waist the original he-man waist with the belt and the little circles on it the chest armor is very similar too with the bone detailing around the arms it looks, it looks almost identical. And let's take a look at the crossbows, detailing on those. Again, very similar. It almost looks like it's a recast, a straight recast of the original crossbow. Because it seems as though every single detail has been recreated here. One little difference I can see though is there is a texture on this rectangle part right here and it's smooth on the new one but 
It's very close. There's another difference. This is filled in here, but it's, it's more of a hole in there. And there's some, there's Malaysia text down there and it's blank here, but it's very close. A uh, little extra tabs inside here. And it's more hollow in here. But uh, this is definitely based off of this mold. And I like the red better. I think it fits Hordak a lot better. Although, uh, the bone uh, coloring goes nicely with the bone coloring on this Hordax head. The biggest thing missing though from the Filmation version is the cape. The original one had a vinyl cape which attached into the back armor and the new one does not. It just has a Horde symbol on the back and you can see it's the armor is the new armor is based off of the original armor too. Just the original armor had holes in it to insert the vinyl cape. So it wouldn't be too hard to just cut yourself out a vinyl cape and sticky tack it in or drill little holes and stick it in there. Not a big deal, but if you want to go with the filmation look, he didn't have a cape on the show, so that's the reason for the missing cape in this one. And the arms are just a little bit different too. Uh, the new one has this armband. And once we take off this cannon, you can see the original one is wearing a glove and the new one just has gauntlets on both sides. Same with the other side. The original one has, uh, well, he has an armband on, on his uh, left arm with a horde symbol. And so they've brought that arm the band uh, back, but no horde symbol for some reason. And a bracelet on his wrist as well. And a comparison of the faces as this pair of Hordax creepily stares at you. Uh, very different. They might seem similar from a, a distance, but completely different molds here. The bone is different that goes around. This is so soft here. I don't know if you can see me digging into the the plastic. It's like a rubber. And this is hard. Just hard plastic. Uh, everything is different on it. The eyes, the mouth. Totally different mold and from behind too. So for the other figures, the new hip joints helped a lot with being able to sit on the steed a lot more securely. And here we've got Hordax creepy looking steed here is a uh, praying mantis buddy and we'll just pop him on here this is where this uh, wish this would have opened up a little bit more because it seems like he's going to have to be able to s have a little bit more mobility in his legs to sit in here so uh, right off the bat, he doesn't seem to be fitting in here as easily as He-Man and Skeletor were able to fit on Battle Cat and Panthor. But, yeah, he is. There you go. He's on there. And this guy also had these little uh, handles to hold on to, so you can also get your Hordak to grab one of them. But it doesn't look like he's able to hold both of them. You'd have to do a little bit of bending here. But that's fine because you can just have him grab one of the handles and then have him hold his weapon in his other hand. So that's Hordak on his Mantisar. Praying Mantis Steed. And... Uh, I don't think he looks quite as good as the original one on this since the blue doesn't really go with anything and the original Hordak has the gray parts which go nicely with the gray. So for the purposes of my display shelf, I think I'm just going to have the original one. You have to be so careful when you're pulling these feet out of the stirrups. 
Battle Cat and Panthor don't have anything to secure the figure in. You can just lift them out, but Mantasaur has these stirrups, and that's something to watch. That might end up snapping some of these newer style leg joints. But I think for the purpose of my display shelf, I'm... Wow, is that ever loose? This one's not too bad, but this leg is already getting pretty loose. Uh, since this uh, Filmation Hordax stands so well on his own, and the original one is kind of floppy, uh, I'll be having the original Hordak on Mantisar and the new Filmation one just standing in front. And then for a final comparison, just picked this guy up recently at a local toy show, and it is Hurricane Hordak. So... Hurricane Hordak is very similar to the other, the original Hordak. More of the same. You've got uh, gray parts instead of blue. But this was uh, a nice version of Hordak in that you could uh, have his morphing gimmick. It was permanent. It wasn't removable like the Filmation Hordak, but it was still cool to be able to have him turn into a weapon himself instead of having to pick one up. So it's really cool to have all three of these Hordax. Maybe one day I'll be able to find Buzz, Buzzsaw Hordak too and complete the quartet. And here he is with his arch nemesis, the Princess of Power, Shira, from the Super 7 Vintage style Masters of the Universe line. And that is how it should have always looked. The original Princess of Power figures, I think, uh, I just, I did not like the new design that they give the, the Princess of Power figures, the She-Ra, as well as Bo, the male figure. I recently saw an original Bo, and I thought, why didn't they just make him in this body style? Uh, and why didn't they make the She-Ra figures in the Tila body style, Evil Inn? So I think it's cool that Super 7 is finally correcting that all these years later and making a She-Ra line because I, I uh, consider Hordak part of the She-Ra universe uh, correcting that and making, making them all in scale with each other and fit together along with these guys, the other two Super 7 vintage style figures that I have so very cool that everything uh, the scale is being corrected with the Shira figures looking forward to actually owning more of the Shira line I would love a bow figure in this body style and even a couple of the Shira figures it'd be cool to get like a glimmer or a uh, I don't know who else there is uh, Queen Angela uh, in this body style instead of the original smaller style with the real hair but great first line by super seven wise choice picking these four characters to start the line off with and uh, i don't plan on getting too many more of these guys uh, i think the other filmation offerings look great like man at arms beast man but i'm satisfied with the ones that i already have in my collection i don't feel like i have to have a filmation version of every single one so, not going to get too many more of these, but uh, am planning on getting some of the figures that were never made uh, back in the day, like uh, Shadow Weaver. So it'll be cool to add Shadow Weaver to my Horde collection. And here he is in front of my newly acquired Fright Zone, and he looks fantastic on that playset, along with all of the other Horde baddies. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks to the Patreon tribe for supporting the channel. Share if you like the video. And to join the tribe, hit subscribe. Nerd mistake.